Hi, welcome here to another episode of Rising with Charlie. And today we have Christelle. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and check out her bright green shirt there. I'm like super like it when she put it on. This <laughs> is my signature. Wow. Like, but I have friends who are like, Ew, like what is wrong with you? Like, literally, <laughs> my friend just told me, like, I, I met a friend a, a couple weeks ago and she was like, your green blazer is so ugly, but you look good in it. Exactly. Like, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. See, see, that's something really interesting. People have perspective to things, yeah? And things that you like and may not be the things that uh, they like, right? Mm. So we're going to go deep into today's conversations. So just hang on there for a while here, right? And, and what I would like to, you know, um, really welcome Christelle here for being in The Rising with Charlene. And thank you. And the purpose of this show over here is really to um, share a lot of other people's personal story and personal journey and Christian of course just like my other guests she is going to take action towards something action <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope that is just for the for the effect of for, the for, recording for the audience, <laughs> yeah so can't wait, can't wait. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully that you can, is can't wait, right? So, uh, in a moment, we are going into uh, a little bit more introductions, right? And here's how it goes. We're going to play a game. Okay. Do you like game? Sure. Sure. I, I like game, sure. Sure. Sure! Sure. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> but tell me what game it is first. Okay, okay. <laughs> very, very simple one. You and I must have played before and you also must have been played before. So, it's called the scissor paper. Stone. Ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. so here's how, how it's going to work. So if you win, you can choose to introduce yourself the old school boring way or you can choose to introduce yourself the creative way, right? Okay. So we have a conversation earlier on about everyone is creative. So I'm mm. curious to see your creativity as well. Mm, okay? okay, so what if I win? Um, you get to choose. Ah, really? Uh? Yeah, you get I, to choose I, I how... choose it my way that I want you to introduce. Okay. okay? okay. Challenge accepted. Please win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, are we ready? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. See. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Caesar. <laughs> what is this? Caesar. <laughs> okay. Caesar, paper, stone. Caesar, paper, stone. Caesar, paper, stone. Caesar, paper, quick, quick, quick. Caesar, paper, stone. Caesar, paper, stone. <laughs> How many, how many times yes. do I have to repeat this? <laughs> you know what it, what it just shows like, there's a lot of synchronicity yeah, frequency here. Gum. There's a lot of frequency yeah, 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 yeah. syncing here. Okay, I win. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please embrace. Please embrace. It's, it's going to be really simple, yeah? Mm. Mm. Okay. So what comes to mind is your green colour, right? It's, it's very loud and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and if we were to introduce it, uh, using a frog voice and how do frog? you oh my God. sound like <laughs> and then you can introduce the audience this is Christelle let's make it fun right I don't want to be boring you know sitting how, down here one hour have a conversation with me okay let's try wait wait do I look at you or you can look at the audience okay. right yeah okay let me think frog lah can oh look okay Somehow this, you know, there's this DJ frog. Ah, ah, yeah, ah. yeah, he came to my ah, Okay, <laughs> go on. But then I forgot how it sounds like already. <laughs> is so, it the ting 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 ting? You can ting 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 and then um, you can try to go with the tune or use a frog voice. Okay. That's fine too, right? Yeah. Why do I regret this right now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, one, two, go. Well, I suddenly I'm very stressed. I can't do frog. Uh, okay. Now I'm very stressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let, let, let's, let's tune it down a little bit. Okay. Right, if you were to... Um, really... When you introduce yourself, I want you to feel that aliveness in you. Right? Frog, they're very jumpy and then they go like... Oh, oh, okay. Yay! Oh, okay. So do it that way. Otherwise, you could not be sitting down here. Hi, my name is Charlene. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have okay, that okay, okay, aliveness okay, okay. effect. Got it. Brief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Never go. been asked to introduce myself as a frog, but here it goes. Ribbit, ribbit. Hello, oh. everybody. My name is Christelle, and I am an entrepreneur. 
um, in the social media management space. Ah, so what do you do in social media management space? <coughs> Tell us a little bit more. Mm, okay, so I help my clients to build communities. Communities meaning followers, their customers. They may not buy from you now, mm. but they may buy from you later as uh, if they were to be attracted to your page on TikTok or Instagram. Mm. And we are video-centric. Nice! Yeah, because right now videos are everything. Like, just like, you know, exactly what we're doing right now. We're doing videos. Um, and that's, that's how I help my clients to grow their brand awareness and eventually get them the sales that they need. Awesome! How do you feel? Can be done better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, let's try to be jumpy like a frog. Okay, you would you yes. like to do one more time? Can. <gasps> like that. I, I, I don't want to be seen like some <laughs> hyper AHD kid. Oh <laughs> so it, it, it is again like, um, like when you say earlier on, you know, some friends think that this dress is so loud, but it looks nice on you. What if that jumpy kid looks nice on you too? Mm, okay, so maybe I can just... Uh, I don't know. Uh. Oh, shake it off already. Wait, shake it off, shake it off. Come, come, remove with me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to jump with you as you go. Okay, one, okay. two, go. Hello, everybody. My name is Crystal. <laughs> and go on. I, am, uh, I am in the social media space. The camera person is judging us right now. <laughs> <laughs> is this better? Oh my god. Okay, that I is feel, so I awesome, feel, yes. you know? Yay! <laughs> Do you feel the, Yeah. I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm, freaking, I'm really, really <laughs> hot here right now. I'm perspiring, <laughs> jumping here and there. But it's fun, yeah? Yes. Breathe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the show once again. And Yay. glad to get to have you to be here and have fun with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, welcome. Um, so, what makes it important to, you know, be in here? having this fun thing here with us. What makes it important? Okay, um, so when you first, uh, you know, called me and you were like, Krista, do you want to be part of Rising with Charlene? Uh. I, I remember I was like, okay, I'm excited because I do want to help support you in, in whatever you need because, you know, we've become friends yeah. after we knew, we knew each other mm. through the pageant and, um, but then, uh, but then after that when I said yes, but then after that I, I did some reflection. Mm -hmm. Then I felt like, wait, was I too quick to say yes? Mm -hmm. Because some like I was like thinking to myself, how do I value add to you? Okay. Because yeah, I, I don't that know, question. Yeah, I don't know how to value add to you if I don't even know what I'm supposed to do or uh. say or whatever. Um that's why I was I, I, I asked you further to then after that we had the Zoom talk mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to to go through all the different uh, questions that I had mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when you mentioned that Rising with Charlene is about impacting your guests, it's impacting our guests, mm. which is the audience. Audience. Yes, you. Yeah. And and then I was like, hey, yeah, okay, sure, let's do mm. it. Wow. And then also another question was, what you want to do? Then I think to myself, what do I want to do? I don't know. Uh. Like, then it dawned upon me, oh, yeah, uh, there's one thing that I really, really want to do haven't got a chance to do it because of imposter syndrome mm -hmm. is to start my very own YouTube channel. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And when when you said that, you know, this is so called an action action taker mm. kinda kinda uh initiative. Mm -hmm. you know, I was like, okay, I need this. <laughs> I, well, I'm, I'm glad you respond to that, right? So just now you met, when you mentioned that, when I give you an invitation and then I ask you, so what do you want to do, right, in the next few weeks with me in the in, in this show here? And you said just now that, oh, I do not know what I want to do. Yeah. It's very common. Mm. It's, it's very, very common, yeah? So uh, when opportunities sometimes uh, present in front of us, and then a lot of people goes into like, oh, I do not know what I want to do. I I'm sure you have been into certain experience of the same sort. And just now when we are having some conversations, um, you mentioned that some of your friends are actually going through the same period of time as well. Tell me more about that. Um, that sense of you wanting to help and that sense of you wanting to share, how do you come out into, oh, I do not know what to do, what to do into, oh, I kind of have something that I want to do. Yeah, but we have not, uh, maybe they have not concluded yet how it actually looks like. But there's a strong sense that 
I kind of know what I want to do versus I do not know what to do. Let me not think about that. Right? How do you shift from that space to the, to, to, to the, the other side? So when what the, the thing that truly fuels me to want to create or, or start my own YouTube channel. Um, so I do want to create content steered towards mm. being an entrepreneur from a young age. Mm -hmm. For a bit of context, I started since uh, 18 years old. Mm. And back then, most 18 years old would never think of starting a business. Mm. But I was just in the right, I, th I guess it's like a coincidental kind of thing. I always call myself as a, a coincidental uh, or situation-based entrepreneur. I, I Accidental never entrepreneur, yeah, right? That's the key word everyone never, is trying to uh, yeah. using it as well. Yeah. I, I, I never, never, ever, so ever. What makes you hop into the entrepreneur space at 18 at that time? So I, uh, it was because of an ex-boyfriend of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, I studied film, then from there I met him through a mutual friend and mm -hmm. he had his own video production company and when I graduated from, or rather even during poly, throughout my years of studying in poly, I freelanced, do, uh, I freelanced a bit of video production work, started with events photography, mm. then videography, and then I had a passion for producing and directing, mm -hmm. like the planning, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. see how, how storyboard photos or, or mm. visuals can come to life into an actual video. So, so it brings things that are stagnant into screen. Correct. Right, how to make it more alive into yes. screen. Wow. Uh, and that was, that was uh, like a so-called interest of mine, mm. a very huge interest of mine back in school, back when uh, then he was in this platform called BNI. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he brought me there. And then that was where I was exposed to, mm -hmm. to business owners mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. different industries. And once I graduated, 19 years old, I joined an, another chapter. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. you joined a networking group. A networking and group, then correct. And to learn how to, be, how to set up your own business, how to um, make your business work, right? Yeah, okay. correct. So I, I, I really took a very different route compared to my friends because, mm. or, or rather the typical once you graduate from uh, secondary school mm. slash took, taken your O-levels and levels, you go on to IT, JC, Poly, from university. there go to university okay. and then get a full-time job. Right. Um, and just climb the corporate ladder. Mm. Some, I, I, I think we call it the gut feeling, the intuition, you know, okay. how, how all of us, actually not just women, it's like all of us will yeah. have this gut feeling, this intuition that whether or not we choose to listen to our bodies or not, from secondary three, I knew I never would want a nine to five job. Okay. And that was what steered me towards taking a poly education instead of JC because uh. the thought of having to go through another, another nine to five, another, like, uh, office level, work, like okay. the exams, okay, like, okay. stressed the hell out. So of it me. was an A level yeah. route that you didn't choose and you chose a different route, right? I mean, yeah. that entire route has brought you to where you are at currently. Yeah. Um, share with me a little bit, um, why is all this thing matter to you, right? Your past few years of experience. Can I share your age? Yeah. <laughs> or you want to share your age? <laughs> uh, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, and, and, and that is highly relevant because uh, you are, you, you're at an age whereby people call it the Gen Z. Yes. Yeah? And a Gen Z likes to go through, go through something that my opinion matters, I'm a YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the young minds are really, really different, yeah? Uh, what makes you even more different than that? And what makes you stand out having that experience of yours? Well, I just turned 26 last year, mm. December. So, still am 26. <laughs> um, I would say I'm not exactly like... Uh, because 9-7 nine, nine, babies are considered Gen Z, the start of Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. So, I am... I would say I'm like a very old Gen Z. Okay. But at the same time, because of my field of profession, um, I have to be exposed to TikTok, Instagram, understand the trends and all mm -hmm. that. And from that, I picked up a lot of uh, lingos. Ah, okay. <laughs> social media lingos, yeah, basically. Yeah, every subject, every topic has a ling language. Yeah, and I realised, hey, actually, um, as a fellow Gen Z, I do admire certain uh, content creators mm -hmm. who dare to speak out. Mm, okay. Who, who dare to, to speak their mind. And I think it's a very 
a parent thing uh, for it's, us yeah. younger younger gen generation yeah. which a lot of people will be like I don't understand what's wrong with you guys then I was like but there's nothing wrong because I, I think that this is important yeah. to to talk about what truly to matters to speak about. up what yes. is truly matter correct, okay. correct. And, and videos YouTube uh, Instagram social media is the best the best tool the to, tool. to broadcast your to, message to reach out to broadcast yeah, and to put a message out there yeah. that is you right yeah. And and I'm sure the message will benefit people who is listening to here, and it, which is the message that you are bringing here into this show as well. So, what is that one message that you want to uh, say to the your audience today? Well, I I hope to be able to serve um, as serve some value, some form of value, my my journey, share my journey behind the scenes because it has not been easy for me to to grow grow up as an adult because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um, oh, uh, growing up as an adult, oh my god, yeah. I, I can totally resonate with that. And I, yeah. this is it's like um, I, when I speak to fresh grad nowadays, right? And and there is a strong sense of like I'm an adult, but I'm not yet there, and then yeah. people are not recognizing me. That, right. it, does it does it sounds resonating yes. to you? And all the uh the the older generations people will go like, you're still young, and then you t- you're still young, and, and and you don't have much things to contribute. Mm. But that's not true, yeah. Mm. And and it is just um giving people an opportunity to figure out a way to speak out if they yes. can't speak out in a more traditional setting, um maybe in the classroom or maybe in a uh, office in front of your boss right so social media becoming a um, a platform mm. right to learn S- to learn to speak and if you were to speak up in your own platform and just like you mentioned you want to set up on your own YouTube channels what would that key message that you want to speak up about is to uh, Share as much as possible. Um, Share about. So, I mean, just now as I was saying, um, cause growing growing up as an adult, mm-hmm. right? It was not easy for me, and I understand it was not easy for everyone. for everyone. Mm. When I was eighteen, I was lost, like oh. literally, don't know what to do, um, and I think it takes like. Uh, since hitting the wall to understand what is pain, mm, yeah, like, mm, like, um, mm. there's a Chinese thing, some more zuan niu jiao jian. Zuan niu jiao jian is yeah, like yeah. you're trying to uh, only niu jiao is like a you just think about like blue eyes. You try to just drill through only one direction mm, yeah. and then try to figure out is there any more possibilities. Correct, yeah? something like that. Like, I I think it took a lot of trial and error, and the Singapore culture has always been. A very systematic way. You do step A, B, and C. That's it. You oh. can only follow. But then for me, I chose to do entrepreneurship, chose to start my own company, completely different route. And um I'm so proud of myself for for, for doing so. Perhaps also because subconsciously I was uh, influenced by my mom because she was also an mm. uh, she is also an entrepreneur also started at a very young age 20 ish um, and probably that's why you know she is my source of inspiration she is um, one of the people that I look up to mm. in my life and it it may not be easy but it is possible because yes maybe having a stable job a boring life you don't want to create content is fine but sort of pains me or it hurts me, it frustrates me to see friends or people around me who are like clearly not happy doing the corporate things, the co- yeah. climbing the corporate ladder, but yet they don't want to do anything about it. It, it, it really uh, hurts me. So, so it, it, it irks you that when people are facing challenges, problems, and they let themselves dwell into that hole rather yeah. than finding a way out from that loop, right? Correct. To, to Pivot to somewhere, right. right? So, so, so. How much does it pain you when you see your friends are in such a state? And what would you want to say to them? I might lose friends for saying this, but if I were in their shoes, in their shoes meaning of uh, their situation right now, they lost their job or 
they don't have a job because you know the the um, recession is here. Economy is doing really really badly. Yet they are still fussy about the jobs that they are gonna take because mm. pay is too low, too much things to do, need to OT, and all you want to do is 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 a uh, take. You don't want to give back to your to your employee. Um, what makes things worse is you're a fresh graduate. You have no prior work experience. Maybe you just came out of NS, and yet you expect a three or four k pay. As a boss, <laughs> why would I spend four thousand dollars per month mm. on someone who has no experience, who cannot value add to mm. my company mm. Mm. or help me relieve my burden, so that I can focus on building the business? Yeah. Rather than I, I, I mean, I rather spend four thousand dollars on somebody, or something, or someone who can bring me, who can help me, like you know, relieve the burden, who has work experience, so that I don't have to worry so much. I don't have to, um, in a sense, clear up their shit, ah. Yeah. So this is a a it's actually a reality check itself yeah. right now at this point of time, for those people who are hearing this, and especially uh, the job market is actually. Not in a very favorable directions right now for most of the companies, whether it's a big one or the small ones. Businesses are, um, I would say that most of the business may be struggling to find clients, right? Budget issues, or human issues, right? All these things jumble up together. People want things fast, right? So, um, a friend of mine actually has uh, shared with me this before. As a young minds. Just came out from school and you have no experience. How can you actually uh, step up faster to get that kind of uh, matched up that with that kind of expectation that the market can actually give it to you? He called this this a uh, fast and curious, mm. right? It's not a fast and furious, but fast and curious. Fast that means to say is that you need to be able to um, ride through that wave, be adaptable, and then learn and learn and learn. At the side of learning, you gotta be curious. What is it all about? Why is it like that? Why? 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 Yeah, but 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 when we are asking, uh, be, becoming a curious, cur- when we let curiosity to come into us, we also have to be mindful about um, when we ask that, where is it coming from? Is it coming from learning, mm. or is it coming from I'm right, you're wrong, or some people go like, um, or oh, you're right or I'm wrong. I, which 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 one you're trying to prove? Some people um goes into the space of like I'm asking because I want to prove that I'm right. That is so. That is so. Not 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 so much of a learning, but you just you you are kind of like pushing the entire learning backwards rather than curious to see. Hey, I'm asking this question to see where can I go next, right? So you you get a difference here, and I believe that the fast and curious has happened for you, right? For many years, and right now where you are at right now, why? Why would this doing this work here matters for you? 